Hello and welcome to Metropolitan Community Church of Windsor to our virtual worship service for Sunday, July 19, the seventh Sunday after Pentecost. Our scripture readings today are taken from the Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus set another parable before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is like someone who sowed good seed in their field. But while people slept, an enemy came and sowed darnel weeds also among the wheat and went away. But when the blades sprang up and produced grain, the darnel weeds also appeared. The servants of the householder came and said, Boss, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where did these darnel weeds come from? The landowner said to them, An enemy has done this. The servants asked the landowner, Do you want us to go and gather them up? But the landowner said, No, lest perhaps you gather up the darnel weeds, you root up the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and in the harvest time I will tell the reapers, First gather up the darnel weeds and bind them in bundles to burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Then Jesus sent the multitudes away and went into the house. The disciples came to him, saying, Explain to us the parable of the darnel weeds in the field. Jesus answered them, The one who sows the good seed is the human one. The field is the world, and the good seeds are the children of the kingdom, and the darnel weeds are children of the evil one. The enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels. As therefore the darnel weeds are gathered up and burned with fire, so it will be at the end of this age. The human one will send out angels, and they will gather out of the kingdom all things that cause stumbling and those who do, not, who do iniquity, and will cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in God's kingdom. Those who have ears to hear, let them hear. These are God's words, and they are for us, God's people. Thanks be to God. This is another one of the many parables of Jesus that he used to explain God's realm, the kingdom of God. Sometimes, People who hear this particular parable, they tend to get very binary. They tend to get very, you know, good, bad, on, off. They are saying male, female, gay, straight, you know. But I think Jesus is talking a little bit more than just a straightforward binary in this, in this case. And I think Jesus was talking about what will happen with us in the end times, what will happen with us when we become followers of Jesus, what happens to us in the present tense when we become followers of Jesus. It's easy to dismiss this as, as an apocalyptic uh, scripture reading, you know, and, and churches, goodness knows, have used this for a long time to create the other, you know, those people. They're the, the Darnell weeds. They're the chaff. And here, we're the good weed. We're the good wheat. We're the, you know. I, I don't think that's the case, though. I mean, if we're really, really honest with ourselves and each other, we have both wheat and weeds in each one of us. We all have things within ourselves that are wonderful, that are great, that produce wonderful and good things and reflect God's love in the world everywhere we go. But, let's be honest, we also know that each one of us contain darnel weeds. We all have things in our lives that 
quite frankly, we're ashamed of. Things that we don't want to talk about, things that we're not proud of. Personality traits, maybe. Habits. Dare I say it? Relationships. Behaviors. Things that were, that are not healthy, that are not good, that are not a good reflection of God's love. We also have wheat, as I said. Things that we do, talents that we have, love that we share with others. Those are the wheat. So which do we want to cultivate in our lives? Do we want to cultivate the wheat? Or do we want to cultivate the weed? Weeds. And by weed, I don't mean that weed, in case anybody was going there. Do we want to cultivate the good parts of our lives? Do we want to cultivate the bad parts? I see this scripture reading, this parable of Jesus, as hope that in the end times, as a follower of Jesus, when I get to see God, when I get to meet Jesus in person, the weeds, the bad things, the chaff will be burned away. And all that will be remaining will be the wheat, the good things, the love that we share in Jesus. But until that happens, I need to remember, and I think we all need to remember, and we need to ask ourselves, what are we growing in that soil that we talked about last Sunday? And if you want to see that, it's you can find it below. <laughs> What are we growing in that, in that soil? Are we growing wheat or are we growing Darnell weeds? I ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Creator of the universe, we confess to you that we have worshipped the things we have created rather than you. We have made idols of wealth and fame, and sometimes idols of safety and security. We have created systems to prop up our idols and to keep certain people in privilege and power. We suffer because of these systems that perpetuate racism, sexism, homophobia, transphobia, ableism, and other forms of, of oppression, including economic disparity. Forgive us, for you created us to care for this earth that you made for us and all creatures. Forgive us, for you made us all in your image, all your children, but we do not even treat one another as human. Call us back into true worship, true faith, true life that is found in you. In the name of Jesus, who is the way, the truth, and the life, we pray. Amen. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me fast. God is with us, always. God's steadfast love never ceases, and there is no place we can go where we can lose God, for God always finds us. You are God's beautiful child. God desires for you to love one another, serve one another, and care for all of creation. 
go and live into God's ways of love, justice, and peace. Amen. Let us pray. O God, our divine parent, may your presence be ever revered. May your peace and justice dwell among us. May your love and compassion live within and between us. Nourish us daily with the necessities of life, sustenance for our bodies, and inspiration for our spirits. And may the forgiveness we give be that which we receive, the kindness we show be that which we perceive. Lead us on virtuous paths and distance us from evil. For your world is our world, and your reign our reign, then, now, and always. May it be so. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. All who come to me shall not hunger, and all who believe in me shall not thirst. With Christians around the world and throughout the centuries, we gather around these symbols of bread and cup, simple elements that speak of nourishment and transformation. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you that you are as close to us as breath, that your love is constant and unfailing. We thank you for all that sustains life, and especially for Jesus Christ, who teaches us how to live out an ethic of justice and peace, and for the promise of transformation made manifest in his life, death, and resurrection. We ask you to bless this bread and this cup. Through this meal, make us the body of Christ, and we may join with you in promoting the well-being of all creation. Amen. We remember on the night when Jesus and the disciples had their last meal together. Jesus took the bread and gave thanks. And he gave it to each of his disciples saying, This is my body which is broken for you. Take and eat it. And as often as you do, remember me. In the same way, Jesus took the cup and, after giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Drink this, all of you. This cup is the new covenant, poured out for you and for many. Do this, and as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. In the symbol of the broken bread, we participate in the life of Christ and dedicate ourselves to being his disciples. In the symbol of the cup, we participate in the new life Christ brings. Let us pray. We give thanks, loving God, that you have refreshed us at your table. Strengthen our faith and increase our love for one another. As we have been fed by the seed that became grain and then became bread, may we go out into the world to plant seeds of justice, transformation, and hope. And all God's people said, Amen. Thank you for joining us once again today. The quarantine restrictions will soon be lifted and we will be able to meet once again at Emmanuel United Church, 1728 Lincoln Road in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. But until that time, may the God who has created us, Christ who saves us, and the Holy Spirit, our comfort and our strength, be with us all until we can meet again. Amen.